to Carlson and then it went to the Fresno Museum. And I think George Blair bought it. When Carlson and him put together that big gift to the Crocker Museum. Yeah. Well, you want to see the back again? Yeah, he wants to see the signature. I might have heard that. Let's see what this says, Lita. Okay. Is there something written here? Is that just a plan? Um, uh, What's it say down there? Where you that's just a stamp for the for the uh, wood. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure this is the same. It says 1949, Fred. Studio of Fred Martin, 1949. Studio of Yeah. <laughs> that studio it was in the backyard. Right. Look out. Isn't that beautiful? I'll, I'll show you something to look at. Probably one of your buddies. Wasserstein. Isn't that a beauty? Julius Wasserstein? Uh -huh. yeah. And we got one of these too. The boy knows that one. Yeah. He was so excited when he got it. What does it say on the back? It right? says, uh, Mark's Gallery. Royal oh, Mark. from New York. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, he would have framed it. Oh, really? Yeah, I think so. That was a great gallery, wasn't it? Yeah. And did you ask him to frame them together, or did it matter to you? Yeah. I didn't ask him to do that, but okay. I think it was good. Okay, cool. Yeah. Nice. We might ask you to sign that one for boy. <laughs> no, would you, would you do that? Sure. Of course. Yeah, I would make that, definitely. Yeah, that would be sweet. <laughs> Confirmed. I got one more to show you. Okay. It's coming. Yes, this, I think I saw this on your website. Yes. It's beautiful. I mean, it's like This is more my period, but that I couldn't resist when I saw it. <laughs> yeah. See, we were close. Try to go to a seminar over there at Arts and Crafts. Mm -hmm. And it was in the summertime. And it was going to be cultural history. So I had seen something that made me the idea that I'll do the earth. And each of you, each student, will go like back in your own ancestry as far as they can go and make a presentation. And I'm going to treat the earth as a living being. And uh, we were seated in a big table, a round table, with for this on purpose because if they sit lay on the table. Uh -huh. You know what it kind of reminded me of, and it probably doesn't anybody else, but just when I first saw it, I got this feeling of Jess. And I don't know why I got that feeling, but the layering and the whole thing, you know how he would do all of that amazing stuff? Yeah. And the colors here, the detail, it's just so beautiful. These I love for a whole nother reason. You know, I, I studied antiquities and antiques for many, many years. And uh, I have an African figure in the other room that looks very similar to this. And I'll show you another one that I'll bring it. What do you think of this, friend? <laughs> wow. Amazing. Was 
the nail. This is made of clay. This is by Wen Ying. Did you know Wen Ying? No, I don't think so. He and Volkes worked together at some point. Oh, yeah. That would connect, wouldn't it? Yeah. So, this is 1959. And, uh, all of these little things, I don't know if he's from outer space or where he's from, but he, it's not that at all. It's just, he's just abstract expressionist. But it's also reminiscent of these other two that, so these are going down to a home in San Diego, right? And beautiful view. Mm -hmm. And they wanted something colorful and exciting. So that fills the void. This looks like a presentation, almost like a an offering, a wedding or something. Maybe a peyote culture. I don't know. <laughs> 49 uh -huh. and 49. Probably well, painted them within a week of each other. I was getting married. Ah. And, uh, yeah. June 31, 50, right when the, I can't remember the day. Well, somehow you were getting married and then you gave one to Sam Francis. Uh -huh. And he got unmarried. <laughs> well, uh, pretty funny. Especially because, well, many, many years after I left, he had two sons that I know of. And that he knows of. <laughs> and they were given. Uh, I think it was. Maybe five hundred dollars, some big sum, to the art department there at Berkeley. And yeah, yeah. yeah. And so there was a sort of ceremony getting together, and one of the sons was an accountant. That was his profession. Mm -hmm. And he was kind of wearing a suit, so the other one, he was a surfer. Okay. <laughs> and the ones that were yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> I got a girl with the dog coming to me, and he can smell the dog. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. that made stuff. And then the dog went into, he would make a mural. Mm -hmm. And then she was coming back to the US and he was buying the same guy's order with him. Uh -huh. Well, she got pregnant. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was the end of the mural. I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> well, he he did he did like to look around a little bit, didn't he? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of these guys did, didn't they? Um, I want to just show you a couple of the other people, just so you know where you're surrounded by. <clears throat> this is Hassel Smith in 1961. And he's, he's my very favorite out of the group. I mean, I love your work, but you know, Hassel was somebody I collected and really only his very best work. Um, he did stuff later that I didn't relate to, the geometric things and stuff like that. I don't remember. Yeah, but this period I thought was just so special, all of his lines and things that he did. You know, I have a number of his drawings, too. He 
was so good at that. And this was a dedication to Alan and Becky Kimco. Alan Kimco, the architect critic. That look, this whiplash. So, at that, that's Lily Finichel. I don't know that. 1951. And you might like that well, serum that Chikalian, right? That here. collage by Sam Chikalian. Oh, yeah, that is just. Yeah. I don't know if you don't make it to look. Mm -hmm. That's it? Mm -hmm. This is just one exhibition. Yeah, this is 1959, Sam Chikalian. Uh -huh. It's a beauty, isn't it? Great collage. Beautiful colors. So Sam had this uh, problem about, about women that were... Problem with women? <laughs> and so he had a drawing class that on Friday, and it was a big battle. Everybody wanted to get into his drawing class. Uh -huh. And then one Sunday, they put in their drawing papers. And this form was worn, worn out Levi with Alcatraz coming up at the bottom. Sam came up and said, and she was putting up the paper. He came up and said, I think we should take her from there. The collection trip. Let's you need money for your pants. He showed his pants to me. <laughs> so all the students said, well, <laughs> that blew up and that Sam was out. Oh. Because already, we went <clears throat> through that kind of... Was this at Art Institute? Yeah. But in the, he taught there in the 90s. So this was in the 90s? Would have been, I guess. <laughs> so he was an older guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It already had been in trouble. The one, the um, woman who was running the, the cafe. Yeah. Oh. Well, she was living in his studio, I think. Oh. Anyway, but that was finally the end. That was it. That was the that was the final straw. You know, we <laughs> um, we recently hired a woman that you might know. Her, her name is Lori, and she worked for. George Krefsky, and she worked for um, Kim Eaglesmith and some other people. And um, and so it was funny when she came to work here, she said, and I showed her the same Chicali, and she goes, oh, I was at the Art Institute. I took classes for him. And, and I said, did they give you a pair of track shoes when you went to class so you could run away from him? And she said, well, I had a few, uh, situations where he was expressed some interest in <laughs> so she said i didn't feel particularly singled out <laughs> there were quite a few